All right, let's take a look at our schedule using Google Calendar. So Google Calendar is this icon. Let's tap on that and get started. Now, hopefully you've already logged into Google Meet. If you have, all you need to do is tap that and tap get started. There's no need to enter any user credentials because Google Calendar will talk to Google Meet. So if I tap on this little hamburger on the side, I think the default view is gonna be week. And you can see there's nothing here that's not helpful. So if I tap on the hamburger again, lower school students, you're gonna to wanna to tap the year and then students, and you can see that pops right up. If you're in middle school, you're gonna to wanna to tap on every one of your Google Classroom calendars. Every time you join a new Google Classroom, you get a new Google Calendar that is associated with it. So this is second grade, so I'm gonna tap on 2027 students. And you can see this is pretty hard to navigate. I recommend using schedule view. That's what that looks like. It gives it to you chronologically. If I tap on the hamburger again, I can switch to day view, which is also pretty good. Uh, I know a lot of problems we ran into earlier today was when we were looking at kind of week view and it's hard to pop into 2A or 2B. Just it's, it's kind of all over the place. So hitting that hamburger and going to schedule is going to make it the easiest to get in. And then um, you should be able to just tap on that and then tap on the link and it should just open up Zoom and you are off and running. There I am, hello. I'm gonna close that, I actually don't wanna jump into that class. Then um, that's the biggest thing you need to worry about with Google Calendar. Make sure you're already logged in, look at schedule view and then make sure all of your calendars are tapped so that you can see what is going on.